back with another one. It's the Fragrance Show, man. Shouts out to everybody doing their thing. Today, I'm here to settle a debate for y'all, man. I'm going to settle this debate once and for all, if it even was a debate. <laughs> Absolute Aventus or Moth Precious? Which one should you buy? Stay tuned. The Fragrance Show. <laughs> back with another one man shouts out to all the supporters of the fragrance show salute to everybody doing their thing just in case you don't know this is your first time checking out the channel we are aiming to hit 15k subscribers by the end of this year man so shouts out to all the new support new supporters and also my day one supporters man shouts out to everybody doing their thing so yeah some months back we had club the new week precious come out this one right here I smelt this fragrance, fell in love with it. Fell in love with it. I, I said, you know what? Because when it when it first came out, and it still might be what some people call overpriced right now. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna fall back on using it because I don't want to run out this bottle and have to buy another one so fast. When I smelt it, this was supposed to be a clone to Creed Aventus absolute events is this one right here now i recently just got my hands on this one you guys know this if you have been following my fragrance I had journey to save up to get this fragrance um because it is expensive absolute events is, is expensive i think for 75 ml 2.5 ounces the price i have seen is for 606 but i did get my bottle from fragrance net with a 30 percent off coupon and it came to like 427 which is still expensive so one is four hundred dollars and some change with a coupon one if you could find it i got mines for roughly around 75 dollars still would save money so you know from a price standpoint some people will definitely go with this one or my precious and i can understand that is it a one-to-one -one clone I'm going to answer that for you guys right now. And no, it is not a one-to-one -one clone. There is actually another fragrance that is a one-to-one -one clone. And I'm going to show that one in a little bit. But being as though I think this is the most popular one right now that's supposed to give this one a run for his money, that's what we're talking about. So is it a one-to-one? -one? No, it's not a one-to-one. -one. They actually smell kind of different because Club de Nuit Precious opens up much brighter with the pineapple actually opens up brighter and much more youthful if because you have pineapple you have a caramel note the pineapple note in this one all the citrus notes in this fragrance especially up top are much brighter uh fresher um even the caramel sweet so this one the openings are totally different bergamot in them in the top this one, <clears throat> absolute event is no pineapple, but there's grapefruit. There's grapefruit, black currant, and bergamot in the opening of the absolute event. Is. And even though grapefruit is in this one, to start it out, the citrus notes, the stuff like that, by all means, it is nowhere near the bright punch that you get from Armand Precious. And some people might like that. I enjoy it. I enjoy both but it's not a one-to-one -one clone. This fragrance is much darker. You will pick up on the cinnamon. That's why people say this one smells like Dior Sauvage in the mid towards the dry down, like, like a Ventus Sauvage elixir. I'm sorry, elixir uh, component from cinnamon. You will pick up on the cinnamon. The much more darker notes in this one keep this fragrance being a little bit more on the mature side. So. I don't think this one is very for the youthful guy. This one, on the other hand, tends to lean more youthful. And people, I, I don't get the Sauvage Elixir um, um, comparison when it comes down to the precious. I think they're both are great. They both smell great. But I do think that if you want the true experience of absolute events, you have to sample this. You have to sample this before you say it is a clone of this one because it, it, they're actually different, man. They're different, but I understand what Armand Precious is trying to do. I think I answered the question, is this a one-to-one -one, one -one clone to this? No. Now, Jerome, if you guys wanna know, 
Jerome, which one do you prefer? From a fragrance standpoint, I have to roll with the Absolute Aventus uh, because I actually like this smell of this one a little bit better than this one. I think the black bottle, the Absolute, the name fits the scent profile. It's a darker, uh, it's a darker take on Aventus OG. I think they hit the note out the park. This one smells super much more natural than this guy, but this guy is good. Um, but I prefer the smell of this one more than I will prefer this guy. Price is, you're gonna pay a fraction uh, uh, for the Armoff than what you will pay for this guy right here. Uh, we know that. Now, when it comes down to performance, when it comes down to the performance side of things, I gotta give it to the Armoff Pressures. This thing starts out with a bang, it's loud, people are gonna smell you. I have worn this, got so many compliments on this juice, guys. When I first wore this fragrance, I think I wore it to like a baby shower and I was getting huge compliments on it. Um, so from a performance standpoint, it does perform better than the Absolute Aventus. Um, definitely much more louder than it. When it comes down to Aventus, Absolute, uh, Absolute Aventus, this fragrance is going to last about six hours on skin and clothes and the projection was good for like the first good to, to I would say good to just good for like the first hour. Um, it's not a skin scent, but it's much more of a arms lift to own scent bubble kind of fragrance. So it's basically going to come down more of are you a fan of Creed events, especially the first one? If you are a fan of Creed The House Alone, if you are a fan of Creed events, you're gonna to want to try this one. Um, just know that the performance is not better than this. So if your whole thing is performance, you want people to smell you, you wanna light up a room when you walk in it, you wanna be loud, you're gonna go with this one. If you want something, if you think that you're buying this and you're getting a clone of this, you are not. Even though they are close, I would say like 85% close, if you want the real absolute Aventus, you're gonna to have to invest in this one. You're gonna come down to how much you're willing to pay. If you don't care that it's not a spot on clone to the OG, go buy the Armoff. If you want something that's spot on to the OG, that's actually cheaper than the Armoff Pressures, then you wanna go over to the House of Alt and you wanna to wanna to get Absolute Executive, this one right here. Not loud, as he has like the same kind of nuance as Absolute Aventus, this one right here. So to me, this is much more of a spot on clone. But for the sake of this video, if we're battling these two out, I still say this one is better because of how it smells. Uh, it's much more of a take on the Aventus DNA. Not a bad performer, not the greatest, but if you just want shared performance and you want to smell nice and you don't care if it's a one-to-one -one clone, buy this one. But to me, I'm taking this guy right here. All right. Thanks for watching another video with the Fragrance Show, man. Once again, if you need more content, click on that video header up above. If you want to like and subscribe to the channel, you can go ahead and do that as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Salute.